Hello everybody, it is me, the Plasma, and I'm here again, well, once again, with Eli and me as per usual. And we're, we're continuing from the last episode. And stuff like such. In Borderlands 2. Yeah. And stuff like such. So yeah. Let's freaking do it. Let's do more side quests, because honestly, we have a lot of them to do. Yeah. Lots of those things. So in this episode... I'm gonna make this one an episode where I rant about scary movies. Okay, what, what scary movies have you seen? Did you see? Okay, recently? I did not see any scary movies, but this I, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay I'm gonna ask you first. Yes. What do you think about scary movies? What is your general opinion about them? I'd go one way or the other with them. Personally, I'm not a huge fan. When. Uh, I'm just not a fan of scary movies in general, but because I'm not a fan of jump scares, but I can mm -hmm. do like suspense and like thriller and stuff like that. Yeah. But the issue with scary movies for me is just I don't like being scared. Hmm. Are Are you like really scared of scary movies, or or is it like because you know Gunstar he isn't really a like a resilient to horror? You know what I know? You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't I'm like not horror that a lot. <laughs> I, I do not like horror that much. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It, it takes... Well... Very, I'm very particular about my horror genre. Got it, okay. That's not me, like, tree, me trying to be all fancy and stuff, I just... get easily scared. Got it, okay. Oh. Well... I found a thing. Happy Mother's Day to the greatest mom a master huntsman oh. could ask for. Now, don't get excited. I locked the present with my fist print so you can't open it until I get home. Anyway, I'm off to go disavow Henry the Stalker with my teeth. See you okay. soon. He's there. Okay. All right. We'll do that other one in a minute. So. <laughs> okay. So. The thing. Go back to this one. The thing about. Horror movies, in my opinion. Okay, so you know me. Like, do you, do you know like my resilience to horror? Like, have you seen it Is before? It, I'm guessing it's pretty good. Yes, I. When it comes to horror, I don't consider jump scares actually horror. I don't consider them horror. They surprise you. That's yeah, like that's all it is. And it, I mean, if you think about it. All a jump scare is, is it's like, it's going off of the human's basic reaction where if something was to freaking fly out of nowhere at you, your normal reaction would to be, is to jump, you know what I mean? Of course. So, in my personal opinion, that's just like, oh, okay, well you're just, that's all you're doing, you're just like, coming at me and trying to like, oh no, it's a spooky jump scare, whoa, you know? And for me, when I see a horror movie... You are now entering a restricted area. Oh, oh, that is a turret that does not want me oh, to be there. Good shot, buddy. Man. Oh. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, considering about the horror movie stuff, when I look for horror, right? Because I remember you guys recommended Corpse Party to me, right? You guys were like, know. oh, you didn't. Oh, was that, that, that was, that was Drax, right? Probably. Yeah, probably, yeah, I think it was Drax. Um, but I remember that he was like, oh, watch, watch Corpse Party. And I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll try it out. And, you know, I actually went in and I watched it. And I'm going to be completely honest. My reaction to that horror was, I got one, I got annoyed. And two, I got sad. One second. She's she's populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. Get in there. I... Alright. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I've noticed that as I'm talking, things just get weirder and weirder. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's happened. <laughs> like, the past few things have just been like, Oh, and then Eli got shot, and then this chick's talking about how her nose blew up and freaking like, caused blood to go over. It was just like, what? 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 I don't know. Alright. But I don't think the thing we want is down here. So to finish my horror story rant, when I look for horror, because I'm so resilient to it, I look for horror that's like, Alright, the only way I can describe it is the thing that I think would scare me the most is if like, you know, the horror came from something that you knew it was there, you know what I mean? Like, you know it's there. But the way they introduce it isn't by jump scare or anything like that. Like, it doesn't just fly out at you and it's like, oh no, it's there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would think that real horror for me would be like oh shit, I know it's there, and the fact that it's there, and what I know, like, how I know that it's there, you know, like, the, the actual, like, the idea of how I know what it is, like, mm -hmm. and it's coming for you, that's what would terrify me, I think. Okay. Like, that's what I would consider actual horror, because when I was in Corpse Party, well, when I was watching Corpse Party, it was so dumb because. Uh, I oh, oh, okay. You gotta do some parkour. Got it. Um, and what I think. The same questions occurred to me All right, today one second. as I was pinning a okay. disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. Get in here. So, when I was watching Corpse Party, yes. the way it went for me was... Like, okay, a bunch of anime kids, they're just sitting there and they're talking about spooky stuff and whatnot. And it's like, okay, alright, this is setting the tone. I like it, it's pretty interesting. And they're telling spooky stories and stuff, and I'm like, ooh, okay. <laughs> and then, after that, they get, they get scared a little bit by one of the teachers, and then they talk a little bit more. And then they're like, oh, so I'm gonna do this friendship, like, charm thing. And this friendship charm, you see if you... What? Legendary, just on the ground. Wait, what? Oh, let's murder everything and then there's just gonna be. Seriously? Wait, what? It's a one time use shield. Oh! Okay, I'm uh. gonna save that for when we have a boss fight. Yeah, okay. Um... <laughs> man, I, I feel like my monologues are, like, causing things to happen, which I'm I'm totally fine with this, so I'm just gonna continue talking. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I don't know what's causing this. How do you switch seats again? Oh, C. Never mind. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so... They start talking, they're doing stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys don't want to know too much about this, like, for those who are watching, uh, you, like, just skip to a certain point in the video, I'll probably put up, like, a thing, you know, and then, you know, spoilers, whatever. Oh, it's over here. Drive the car down. Ah, got it. Okay. So, they talk a little bit, and then she, this one girl pulls out this friend charm, right? And she's like, so, we're gonna do this because we're friends and stuff. Oh, by the way, guess what? If you screw up this, like, friend ritual, we get sent to, like, this horror realm and shit like that. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, like it, 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 well, that's how it goes. And they like they do the ritual, right? And apparently, I think things go correctly, or something goes wrong. I think, as per usual with horror movies. And out of nowhere, guess what happens? Oh no, we're all in a horror realm, and we're all separated. So, my first ideas about this is one. All right, so they're separated. And it's not because they were idiots, 
it's because they physically got separated and they couldn't really do much about it. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And that is what I think that some horror movies kind of screw up because it's like. I have uncovered legends okay, one of sec. an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, the legends. I the screwed myself of the over. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. My reaction was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours dry heaving into a bucket. Okay. Oh, good luck um, in the car out. I, yeah, I can't get it out. Um. So, are you fine with me like telling you about this story, by the way? Or? I don't care about. I don't plan on. I never plan on watching it in the first place. Okay. Okay. Um. So. They go, and they're all separated, and I think that's what some horror movies do correctly, because it's like, the cliche of horror movies is, oh, we all know there's something spooky in this house, maybe we should separate or something, and it's like, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like, no, that is the dumbest idea you would ever have in a horror movie, like, like you know that's gonna end horribly. Yeah. But they do it because the, the the creator of the horror movie's like, man, if we separated them, shit would be really scary. But in reality, it's just really stupid, and it's like, why would you freaking do that? Yeah. So, anyways, they they're all separated, and I'm like, all right, so this is all right. Like they aren't like purposely separating themselves from each other like idiots. And then that's where I was wrong. Oh, hi there, explosive man. Um. So, <laughs> it, it cuts to this, like, picture of these of these two girls that are together, right? And they're in this horror realm. And they're like, yo, yo, it, it, like, we're gonna talk to each other. And then they, like, talk to each other for a little bit. And they're like, oh, man, like, freaking drama and whatnot. And it's like, okay, whatever. Okay. And they freaking... <laughs> They start talking about this, like, drama crap, and out of nowhere, one of the chicks is, like, super offended or something, and she runs off. How about that? She just runs right. off. Kill it. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I thought it was dead for some reason. Anyways, so the chick runs off into the freaking aether of the darkness, and I'm, like, I'm looking at it, and I'm, I'm looking at this action, and I'm just like, why? Why would you why would do you? that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So she goes running off, and her friend, it goes into this next few cutscenes where they're trying to search for each other, and eventually, her friend, freaking ends up finding the lady in a bathroom stall, like, dead. Just dead. And I'm no like, dead. yeah, she's just dead. And I'm like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you knew why this happened. And I'm like, she knew why this happened. She freaking purposely separated herself from you and caused this. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell? Well, and I, just like, really? That's yeah. That's you come up with? Yeah, it, pretty much. It, it's, it's just not... Horror for me now is I know what's going to happen. And I, I want to find a horror movie that doesn't like just... It's like, like a book, you know? It's not like, oh, I read this like a book because it's so freaking obvious what's gonna happen, you know what I mean? I want a horror movie that will take me for a ride and then, like, scare the shit out of me. But not with jump scares, you know? Because that's cheap. That's cheap. You are really into this. Yeah! I'm, I'm like, I am a man that searches for quality spook. I don't take that, like, store-bought, cheap, freaking, like, Dollar General... Oh, no! We're, we're friends, and now we're in a spooky haunted man, and we're dead. Oh, no. And then they all they all go about their day, you know? It's it's like, that's not... I'm pretty sure if they're dead, they wouldn't go out of their... Well, out of their, you know... Their spiritual day. There you go. Fair oh, enough, Constructor. Um, anyways... But yeah, th that's just like, for me, when I look at a horror movie, I'm just like, this is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm looking for something that isn't stupid. By the way, we just destroyed that freaking constructor, like, immediately. Whoa, what are those things? Dead, that's what they are. 
Anyways. So yeah, that's that's my personal ideal about freaking horror movies. They block bullets back at Here. you. Yeah, take him down, take him down. Yeah, man. Did you miss me? But yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop my ranting before I get way too into it. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you have valid I don't know, concerns, I guess. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I just Yesterday. I don't get scared easily and I'm trying to find something that will do that, you know what I mean? I suppose. Yeah. Grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home, okay. confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. Good for you, Candace. That, that's that's good. That's that's real good. That's real good. All right, so that's done. All yes. Right, let's see. Yes, it is. Wow, my rant went uh, on for see. an entire quest. Was that was one quest, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, I selected another one, and I'm now gonna... we must go to the landmark I'm on our ranger. Whoa! <laughs> did you see that? Yes, I did. Dude, I did like a 360 flip through the air. That was the best thing I have ever done with a car in this game. Brilliant. All right. But yeah, I I, I really need to like. We, we gotta get to the episode. I gotta stop ranting and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Well, I guess it's commentary. Yeah, no, it is. It's totally commentary. We're kind of just doing what Do we're doing. Do you think we should go turn in some of these quests? It would help with our EXP gain, yeah. Yeah. That's that's up to you, though. You're the quest manager, man. I'm the guy that's here to, to like blow up the competition when they come in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I don't uh, do. We'll a do lot this of... one, then we'll turn them in. Okay. So, do you have any rants to talk about? Yeah. No. I suppose I do have one. Ah, please do tell. Well. Okay, so you know that I'm a massive fan of the Legend of Zelda series, correct? Yes. I yes, got that Mega Man, Pokemon. That Mega Man and Pokemon are the games I grew up with. Yes. What I don't understand is why Skyward Sword specifically gets so much hate. Oh, really? Skyward Sword gets a ton of hate. I Weird. personally thought Skyward Sword was actually. Oh, hello. Uh, I thought Skyward Sword was a very good game, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I thought it was inventive with its mechanics, it had some very good gameplay, it, admittedly frustrating at times. However, the thing that people didn't like was the whole, like, inventiveness of it. It didn't feel like a Zelda game to a lot of people. Which I suppose can be a decent argument. My only complaint with that is it's still a Zelda game, called, treat it as if it is one, and treat it as if it's being invented with the series. Yeah. I very much enjoyed Skyward Sword. A lot of people really don't. Which is kind of odd, because I heard that it has really beautiful graphics. Oh, the, the art style of the game is absolutely gorgeous. Also, uh, I can't really aim if you keep moving. I, I know. I'm, like, getting away because our car is about to, like, explode, which is really bad. Here, I gotta yep. park here for a little bit so we can, like, regain HP. It should regen pretty quickly. Yeah. Once we're completely out of combat. There it is. And continue, yes. Sorry, I'm enjoying the chips. Yeah. I suppose oh. the one thing I just don't... I trust people would treat it and give it the respect that it deserves. Mm -hmm. I mean, from what I've seen already, I mean, I've seen some clips of the game already, even though I don't want to, because I want to, like, actually experience it for myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand that. Because I remember you were uh, also the same way. You were like, hey, don't spoil anything for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's completely understandable because, you know, it's The Legend of Zelda. Like, you wouldn't want to have to spoil everything for it. And I was talking about Breath of the Wild because I haven't gotten the game yet. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Be careful. 
Again. Again? Get in the gunner seat. Oh, wait. No, I think we killed them all already. Oh, the game. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, Coolio. Get okay. the and shields right here. But yeah, uh, Breath of the Wild, I heard there's a pretty, there's a lot of really cool things on it. And it's only for the Nintendo Switch, right? No, it's for the Wii U as well. Oh, for the Wii U, okay, got it. You can get it for either or, but I'm not sure whether or not I want to get a Switch right now. Or should it I just cost a it? whole bunch right now? It's $419. Yeah. I mean, over time, it'll definitely slowly, you know, get, like, less in price, which will be kind of nice. Yeah, I'd, so I'm just kind of debating everything, you know. Mhm. Mm it's it's an excellent console, and I've played with it. Appreciate the Switch. Yes, uh, my friend has one. Oh, nice. It's an excellent console. It controls very well. It's very smooth. It's very well made. Ah, yeah. But the only thing is, it's expensive as hell. Yeah, of course. Oh, you. you can bring me medicine all day. It don't make you less of a skag sucker. Sorry about Dave. He's a. Uh, we try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. Please ignore Dave and aim the cannon 55 degrees port bow, 86 degrees skyloft. We'll need overlook to sustain a direct hit from the mortar to test the shield. You see that little house there? Kind of hanging off the, the edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Dave's house. And we. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, here we go. Now, fire the cannon. Karima, don't feel bad, Jack. Your husband of the grinder. Well, I'll bet you if you asked nicely. <laughs> the Jericho. Now, let's try that with the shield on. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. This is a really cool angle because you can see Overlook, you can see Sanctuary, and the Helios. Yeah. Now Holy let's see if shit, the shield. people. Gosh, people in this game are like. Man. Most efficient. The shield works. Overlook is safe and no Dave. This is truly a happy day. Return to me at your earliest convenience. Oh, happy day. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. It is truly a work of art. I've never heard such beautiful music. I am an artist. Your art is truly appreci appreciative. Into the into the wild blue yonder we go. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny because the boss <laughs> of this of this place is it's it's blue. it's blue. It's blue. Yeah. Oh, we found blue. Look, it's 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 <laughs> it, it's blue. <laughs> He has so much HP. Sorry, Blue. Did he just slide to the back? I think he just Yeah, no, I saw that too. Stop, like, what is he doing to the floor? Shit, man. I don't know. Ow. He's just knocking me into the cost well, of this. Uh, purple. Purple, purple, purple. What is that? What is that? I think it's Iridium. Oh, it is. Yep, it is. I think it's Iridium. He just goes back into the ground? He just, yeah, he just goes into the ground again. What the heck? Chess! Oh, thank God! Open it and return its contents quickly! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that'll be all for now. For this episode. These chain of episodes that we've done. Well, the two. Um, so without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you fancy. And as always, me, Eli, and the... That thing, what is it called? 
Automaton. Automaton, yeah, check them out. They're really interesting. I, I freaking love them. They're great. Uh, but without further ado, we will see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone.